Hey guys, Footy Manager TV here, and today I have a very special video for you guys. Very, very important. It's a voting video for my first Football Manager 2016 series. I thought it's a good time to do this now, because in a few days, on Thursday, I believe, the early release of Fever 16 is going to be out. So a little channel update. Uh, as you'd probably know already, I've tried to get that across uh, from Thursday or whenever it's released uh, worldwide, uh, Thursday is what the talk has been, uh, but it may come earlier, I don't know, but I'm pretty sure Thursday at some point, it will be out, FIFA 16, I'm going to be having career mode content, I do have ultimate team series, but I will be strongly focusing on my upcoming Manchester United career mode, and what team I'll be in football manager, I'll kind of talk about it a bit, and why, yeah, because I'm doing Manchester United and FIFA, I won't be doing them in football manager this year, uh, obviously, the past year was amazing with them, was a big series for me, but uh, yeah, right now I'm really excited, I'll get into the couple of teams for you to vote, even though you probably click on the link already maybe, and already voted, who knows, but yeah, uh, last couple of days, or last last couple of weeks actually, last couple of weeks, I've been in a great mindset for making videos for the future of my YouTube channel, you know, just thinking about yeah, everything that's going to come this year, and uh, over the weekend, I had a wedding to go to, family wedding, and I met a lot of new people, actually, that I haven't met before, and, yeah, just, yeah, talking to them, really nice people, just that kind of thing puts me in a good mindset, obviously, a lot of time uh, with YouTube, I'm at home, um, in my room, making videos, you know, not going out too much, but when I do that, it puts me in a good kind of mindset to make videos, which is a really good thing, so I'm going to do that a lot more, because, obviously, I'll be able to focus a lot on that side of things, um, my personal life, and then YouTube will be separate and opposed to me not just sitting home every single day, you know, uh, on YouTube uh, for for the whole day, you know, uh, a bit more, yeah, to my life will probably bring the best content out of me as well, so I'm really excited for what's to come with Fever 16 towards the end of the week and future with Football Manager as well, Football Manager 2016, and uh, like I said here, uh, this is a voting video, also, I've got a couple of teams here, like I said, for you to vote for, but also, I want to see ideas for future series later in the year, like another save, because obviously, I'm going to do more than one save throughout the whole FM16, um, I want to do a couple saves, a few saves, uh, we'll see how it goes, but I'd like to see, yeah, some ideas, it doesn't even have to be the exact team, just the style of the save, what kind of save you'd want to see. I've already got ideas, lower league management will be coming back, and like I said, for me to be in a good mindset, that's going to be really, really important for me to succeed in that kind of series. Of course, any series, but yeah, that series more specifically, as it'll be so much more in depth, and it will be in a different style, it won't be the recording every single game live, but you still may see every single game as well, it'll be recording in a different style, but that, yeah, for later in the year, uh, that will be focused on, but yeah, it will be, will be a main series on my channel at some point, but yeah, we're going into the two teams we're going to be focusing on, one of them is clicked on already, Arsenal. They're a team I have managed every year in Football Manager. I think about since FM 2007, since I got into FM, I transitioned from the Championship Manager Series to Football Manager. I chose Arsenal every year. I actually, I tried to do one this year, but I just didn't go far with it. So I could probably almost say I didn't do one this year, you know. So, uh, yeah, I, I can't say. I can't say I have this year. I haven't done a serious save with Arsenal, you know, because that's another thing, like I've been saying. I've been so occupied with YouTube. Um, all the, like, the saves I do, I'm so invested in them for recording. I don't get into many other saves, really. That's how crazy it is. Uh, for me, uh, and then uh, that's something I'm trying to change as well, do a lot more things like that, I should have a save I play privately to chill, you know, and relax, and not be focused on recording um, for the whole time I'm awake in a day, you know, that's something I'm trying to change in my life, and it should benefit my videos as a whole as well, uh, really focus on the content I'm producing, uh, but yes, Arsenal is one of them, and I am, I've downloaded the LFC Marshalls update, so there's the transfer updates for Arsenal, no matter how minimal they are, you got Petr Cech, uh, he is there, obviously attributes will be different, because this is not officially by Sports Interactive, uh, the updated attributes, so 
to be a bit different, but Petr Cech, experienced keeper, that's what I, I really, like, my, me personally, this voting is a big part to decide who I'm going to be, but yeah, if I really want to be a certain team, I'll, I'll manage them, but for me, Arsenal is a really, yeah, strong consideration uh, for me to manage, and yeah, Petr Cech, there's, there's not too many others, a striker is needed, really, uh, Oliver Giroud is, he's a good striker, then you've got Danny Welbeck as well, nothing too special, I'm not sure if you have a future at the club if, if I were to manage Arsenal. And I really like the attacking midfielders. I do like them. I really like Aaron Ramsey, Santi Gazzola, Alex Oxlade-Chamberlain. I suppose he's still really young. I suppose he's young. He's 20, I suppose. Next game, he'll be 21. But yeah, still has improving, uh, much more improving to do as a player. Uh, Theo Walker uh, has injury troubles, but he's pacey, so quick. He can finish. He can really do well on his day. You know, he can find the back of the net when he's yeah fit and firing. And also, don't forget Gabriel Paulista joined in January um, of last season. He's a pretty quick defender. You know, can play uh, centre back, also fullback positions if needed. So I'm liking the Arsenal team, the base of it. But there's some improvements needed to be done. You got a Callum Chambers in defence. Only 19 will be 20 in the next game, uh, but. Yeah, you got a young guy, and then I'm really, I'm liking it. Hector Ballerina as well. I reckon he'll have an update in current ability. Uh, he's rapid, and yeah, I re he's my style of fullback, you know. So I'm really excited. Well, if I were to choose Arsenal, I'll be really excited to develop the team and improve it from where it is. Like I said, there is a good base, but definitely, yeah, definitely improving needed to be done. So Arsenal is the first team. Uh, for you to vote, uh, like I said, link in the description, if you would like to see Arsenal, and of course, I had a really good Arsenal save in FM13, so that would be, yeah, a good consideration if you want to compare it, uh, and I haven't done really a big Arsenal save since then, I think I did one late in FM14, if you can remember back then, but yeah, it wasn't as good as my, F yeah, as good as my FM13 one, uh, in FM14, it was one of the later ones, uh, as I was, yeah, waiting for FIFA 15 to come out, that kind of stuff. But anyway, um, nonetheless, I still did it. But yeah, FM 13, it was a really memorable Arsenal save for me. Obviously, I had fewer subscribers, I had way less subscribers, but I had a nice little supporter base, you know. And I suppose, yeah, I do have that now as well. I have a good group. That's why, like, whatever you may think it's, you may compare it to other people and think I don't have much subscribers, but to other people, I might have a lot especially in Football Manager, uh, but either you think it's small, medium, or large, whichever, I do have that group of people that enjoy watching my videos, so I'm really pleased about that, but my next team, and you may be a bit surprised, is it Chelsea? No, it isn't. Is it Liverpool? No, it isn't. Man City, Manchester United, Manchester teams? No, it isn't. The second team for you to vote on is Tottenham. I've seen them suggested a few times, so I I really think they they have a good setup. You can see state of the art training facilities, top youth facilities. That's something I really like. They are in Europa League. I really like the premise of that, a chance to win Europa League and then Champions League as well. Have those achievements. And yeah, Tottenham. Just a quick mention. Why not the others? I did mention Liverpool in the past, but really analysing them and watching them and them in real life, I don't really like Liverpool at all the play, just everything surrounding Liverpool, I don't really like, and I don't think I'd actually enjoy doing a save with them, and Man City, just, yeah, Man City, Chelsea, both in the same boat, they're just too rich, if you could say, just would have too much money available, and too much world-class players, and yeah, it's not, it feel, it would feel much easier than, yeah, like Arsenal or Spurs would, uh, but anyway, yeah, Tottenham, uh, like I said, starting Europa League, Oh, this guy's a hot prospect. I haven't noticed him too much in FM15. Uh, Joshua Anuma. I'm not sure, again, how good he'll be rated in FM16. Uh, but he looks like a likely type, only 17. But if we go to Tottenham, they have a few more signings in Arsenal, of course. A few guys. Harry Kane. He's a guy I'll be really excited. Again, who have different attributes. Probably a bit better. Pace really low here. Obviously, he's not the quickest striker in the world. 
But yeah, I don't think he's that slow, but he's really, really good nonetheless. And with the season he had last season, he's going to be really OP. I would imagine anyway, usually in football manager after a player, especially a striker, and especially in the Premier League as it's yeah, highly noticed, and I guess English as well, uh, but yeah, if they're gonna be. He's gonna be really good rated after play has a really good goal scoring season. They get good upgrades. Uh, but some new signings: Clinton N. Ye. I used him in FIFA career mode uh, with Shrewsbury. It's kind of a yeah in the lower leagues, and now he's in the Premier League. Uh, but no doubt he's good enough because he's got potential in him, and he's rapid and he's a striker. But he's the kind of type I'd probably like to play out wide. Those guys who can play striker and wing. And they're really that pace and good dribbling as well. I like to play him out wide. So, obviously, you can play multiple positions. Something very important. Uh, Thomas Carroll, um, I don't mind him. Uh, but I'm not sure of his Premier League quality, you know. Um, he's just a tidy player. Like, he's a good passer, good vision, the 15. So, maybe an on-loan uh, spell he needs. Ryan Mason, another one. Um, yeah, he'd probably want to be first team. Uh, he's a guy I like, you know. His vision, um, he's really good. Uh, Vision 16. But again, not world class, but something you have to work with as a team, you know. They're not going to have the millions uh, to spend. And yeah, like a quick mention, like I said, uh, why I wouldn't be doing Manchester United because I'll be doing in FIFA 16 career mode and it would overlap. So if we use that, what Manchester United, that will be in FIFA 16 career mode later this week. Get pumped for that, man. Later this week, if you want Manchester United stuff. FIFA 16 career mode, going to be crazy. Um, and probably the biggest signing, in my opinion, is Son. Son Heung-min, amazing finishing, good pace, really quick. And again, I imagine his attributes will be around this level. It won't change dramatically. Uh, but yeah, he can play a lot of positions. But because of his good finishing, uh, you think uh, he'll play striker a bit more. But again, all those things... You're going to have to wait and see. And yeah, that's the main. Uh, they've got Trippier as well. Uh, Kevin Wimmer. But like I said, they could be very different in terms of attributes. But yeah, I'll leave it there. Those two teams for you to vote on. Leave your thoughts. Also, f ideas for future series uh, in FM16. Leave your thoughts. Uh, like the video, of course. Don't forget to vote. And I'll see you guys next time.